What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today, I am trying out Burger King's Impossible Whopper, guys, okay? Now, this, this Whopper has been out for a while. Uh, it was in certain areas that uh, I think they wanted to test the market out first. So, um, I know it was in Miami, it was up north, uh, but it's finally hit the Treasure Coast area. So, I definitely want to check it out, you know, put it to the test. Um, I have heard some good things about it. I've heard it's actually pretty good. Um, you know, the most impossible thing about it, so to speak, is that, you know, it's impossible that it's not beef, right? So that's what I've been hearing. So I don't know if people just been talking it up or whatever like that, but as I've never had a burger that hasn't been a burger. I don't care if it's tofu, uh, if it's a, ve a veggie burger, uh, vegan burger, whatever, it, it don't taste like a burger. So. These guys have found a way to make a burger without actually making one. So I want to see what kind of magic tricks they have up their sleeve, you know, and see if it's really what the hype is saying it is. You know what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and try that out. Let you guys check it out. This is uh, this is how they have it uh have it wrapped. So you can see it, I guess, say impossible. Check it out. So I like it. I like the, just the color is different um, on the wrapping. So it's definitely supposed to stand out as, uh, you know, a friendly receiving type of burger. So we're going to unwrap it. Let you guys look at it. Check it out. So I can just tell by the look it doesn't look like a burger. Uh, it, it doesn't even have the same uh, smell that the normal Whopper has. So I know it's something different about it. Okay, so I'm gonna try this out. You know, hopefully uh, I enjoy it to some extent that I don't throw up. So y'all bear with me. Here we go. Okay, so it actually doesn't taste bad. I wouldn't say it tastes like a burger. It almost doesn't doesn't really have a taste. You know, I mean, the good thing it is cooked through. You know, so you guys can check it out. It's definitely cooked through. You know, but I think maybe they put so much on it, like. You know, the lettuce, the onions, the pickles, tomatoes, ketchup, mayonnaise, mustard. I think they put so much on it that it kind of blocks it out and all you really taste is the add-ons. But I guess the expectancy is that it's going to taste funny. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not a burger. So they definitely got that down where, you know, it does give you that impossible feel. Like it's impossible that this is actually a burger, but it's not. So it's kind of impossible to, to, that it tastes, um, let me say, it doesn't taste different or taste bad. And it's not a burger, you know what I mean? So it's actually pretty good. What I will say though, is that after trying it, it makes me wonder. So, if it's supposed to taste like a Whopper, but it's not made of beef, it's not what they say, 100% vegetarian, what is it? I'm pretty sure I should have probably asked this question before I decided to eat this. But better late than never, right? So, 
Right now, I'm just trying to figure out what's inside this burger. So, crazy part is on the wrapper, you guys can see it right there. Let me move this part out of there. So, on the wrapper right here, it has all the descriptions of what's on this burger, right? But there's no name, so it's like it's almost like you're assuming based on the photograph what it actually is. So the parts that look like patties, now I don't know what it is. So you guys comment below. Let me know what you think is uh, inside this sandwich, man. Um, I'm curious. Also, I'm curious. If you can come out with something and call it the Impossible Whopper, you're not using beef. You know, I don't know what you're using. How long have places like Burger King been processing meals like sandwiches, burgers, or whatever without using actual beef? It makes me think, okay? You know, it's okay to come out with something called call it an Impossible Burger, right? But at the same token, you look at it like, all right, you guys can make a veggie burger, a vegan burger, a regular burger, and now you got an impossible burger, and you guys can make it like this. My order was done in less than five minutes. So it's, it makes me think, what, what's really going on? You know, is this, is this like, I don't know. Is it, is it like putty or something? You know what I'm saying? Is it like skin? off the back of the cow is it you know the part around the, the nipples or something of the cow is it cow is it not cow is it dog is it a horse maybe that's why they call it impossible burger because it's impossible to know maybe that's what it is you know what i'm saying like I said, it's not bad though. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's it's not like I'm saying, oh, I can't eat it. It's not bad, but it definitely makes you wonder what you're putting into your body. And the crazy thing is, with all of the different stuff that's out there, you probably should have been always worried about what's going in your body, right? But I will say, after eating a little more of it, you start to taste the difference. It has like a weird aftertaste. Almost like inside of a cardboard box or something. So the aftertaste definitely isn't, uh, isn't that good. But it does make you wonder what it is. That's probably it for me, but I will say um, it definitely caught me off guard. And not in such a bad way either. But it's not for me. I'd rather go with the possible than the impossible. I'm good. And as y'all can see, I didn't have my son with me because he might have wanted to try this impossible burger. And me not knowing what it is, you know, I let me let me take the chance for him. You know, let me not, you know, sh introduce him to something that I'm not comfortable with or I don't approve of, you know what I'm saying? So all right, let me try it out if it was good and I'd be like, hey, you know, I'm gonna bring food, this type of food, I want you guys to try it out, tell me what you think. You know, but I think, you know, I don't think, you know, anybody in my household would actually enjoy this. So, thanks Burger King for the idea, uh, for being innovative, but I think I'll stick with the original Whopper. It's nothing like that. I'm good. I'll just stick with that. You know, I'm worried right now what the backlash is going to be. And I don't mean from Burger King. I mean, my stomach. 
Cause you know, when you start putting stuff in there that's weird, man, your body got a weird way of saying, you know, I'm not comfortable with this and start fighting back. And it could come out either way. It can come out from your mouth or from the other end. Either way, it's gonna come out. And that's all, that's all I'm, I'm happy about when it comes to this is that it's gonna come out. Uh, but like I said, guys, if you're interested in something different, you know, trying something with a, a, a different taste to it, not really, uh, you know, big on eating the beef like that. You're trying to stay away or stray away from the meat. You know, go to Burger King, try the Impossible Whopper, guys. I'm pretty sure that it, even with the acquiring aftertaste, you guys would actually enjoy it if that's what you're looking for. But if you're like me and, and you're good with your, with your beef and your red meat, moderately guys we can't eat a lot of that you know what i'm saying it ain't good for our prostate but if you guys prefer to just have your, your red meat man stick with the regular whopper that's just my opinion you're hearing it first here from your boy mr grub until next time you guys don't forget to like and subscribe comment below if you've had this burger before or this non-burger before let me know what you guys think about it what's inside of it if you guys have a little more information on it than i do feel free to comment below and let me know uh, if you have any further requests or anything, let me know. I'll definitely be in the comment section checking it out. Until next time, you guys, it's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.